and the Stranger by David McKee. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant had just started his morning walk when Tiger arrived. Elmer, he said, "There's a stranger around, and he's acting very strangely. He jumps and falls over. Strangers often act." Strangely, that's why they're strangers," said Elmer. "I don't think he's happy," said Tiger. Just then, the lion appeared. "Hello, Elmer. Hello, Tiger," he said. "Elmer, there's a strange chap around. He sort of, sort of jumps," said Tiger. Elmer knows, and then he kind of well. He falls over," finished Tiger. Elmer knows. Yes, well, also he seems uh unhappy," said Tiger. Elmer knows. Let's just go and see," said Elmer kindly. Soon they came to a clearing. This is where he usually jumps," said Tiger, and falls over," added Lion. And here he comes, with huge bounces into the clearing, came a kangaroo. Then he stopped, hesitated, and fell over. He picked himself up and sobbed, "I'm a failure, not a happy chappy," said Lion. "Let's talk to him," said Elmer. "Hello," said Elmer. "What's the matter?" "Hello," kangaroo sniffed. I can't jump. When I try to, I fall over. We're going to have a jumping competition, and I came here to practice secretly. But it's no use. I can't jump. I'll be laughed at. But you were jumping beautifully," said Tiger. "Oh no! I was just bouncing along, getting ready to jump." I'm a good bouncer," said Kangaroo, and to prove it, bounced higher than Giraffe, who happened to be passing. Very impressive," said Tiger. "But when I think about the jump, I fall over," sighed Kangaroo. "This needs some thought," said Elmer. "We'll be back tomorrow." On the way home, Lion said. Elmer, I know I'm a bit slow, but isn't a bounce a kind of jump? Yes, Lion said Elmer. But Kangaroo thinks that a jump is something more difficult, more important. Like sometimes, if you think about going to sleep, you can't. When you don't think about it, you soon drop off. Lion doesn't have that problem," said Tiger. Elmer laughed and left them. Next morning, after talking to Lion and Tiger, Elmer went to meet Kangaroo. "Come on, Kangaroo," he said. "Lion and Tiger will be by the river." Elmer set off at a steady pace, while Kangaroo bounced behind him, in front of him, around him, and even over him. At the river, they saw Lion and Tiger on the other side. Where Elmer had told them to wait, drat said Elmer. We'll get our feet wet. Kangaroo laughed and, with an enormous bounce, landed beside Lion and Tiger. Fantastic jump said Tiger. You mean bounce said Kangaroo. I can't jump. Lion chuckled. Bounce. Is a jump. Lion's right," said Elmer. "Forget jumping. Just bounce. Now let's go to that competition." Kangaroo led the way, delighted that his new friends were going with him. They arrived just as the competition began. After a while, Elmer said, "Come on, Kangaroo. It's time you had a go." There was a roar of applause as the white kangaroo made an enormous jump. That will be hard to beat," said Kangaroo. Elmer whispered to Lion and Tiger. They grinned and went to stand just 
past the spot where the white kangaroo had landed. As kangaroo was getting ready, Alma said, Drat, we'll get our feet wet. Kangaroo gave a laugh and with an enormous bounce, once again landed beside lion and tiger. That jump won the competition. Later, Kangaroo thanked Elmer, Lion, and Tiger for their help. You made me remember the river, he said. I didn't think about jumping. When they were back home, Lion said, Strange thing, I felt that we were the, uh, strangers, finished Tiger. Yes, laughed Elmer, and now we're all, uh, friends, they laughed together.